Junior, thank you for taking time with us at Off the Block Blog, uh, especially after a uh, rough, uh, even teasing uh, three-set uh, sweep. Uh, you guys really hung in there in the uh, third set, tied it up at 24 after the ace. There was that uh, epic uh, rally at the uh, when you guys tied it up at 24. Um, what are your impressions of the match? Yeah, um, it was definitely, like you said, it was a nail-biter. I mean, both teams were getting after the second and third set, and then it's just it was, uh, a service run from uh, Stahl and, and Micah really uh, was why we lost the match. But uh, it's, it's really great to come out here and play a team like UCLA. They're ranked number two in the country, and it's really great for us uh, for practice as we go into the IVA, uh, the IVA play, uh, season. So, yeah, this is a, a, a tough team, and I think uh, we handled the pressure pretty well. I mean, we, it would, be, it would, it would have been nice to come on here with like a one or two set win or, or a win in general. But I'm really proud of the effort my team put out there, and we're really looking forward to playing at Concordia and the UCSD. Uh, what uh, did uh, Coach Weisky uh, tell you, uh, your team, in between uh, the first set and the second set? You guys uh, lost the second uh, first set 25-15, uh, but we're much more competitive in the second and third set. Yeah, Coach Weisky basically told us that, that the first set, that was that was not the product we expect to bring on the floor. He just told us to, um, just to let the nerves uh, sit in and just come out there and play our style of volleyball, and that's exactly what we did. I mean, the first set, um, they came at us with their, their, a lot of service pressure, and we didn't handle it very well, but as you can see, the second, the second and third set, we did a great job of keeping the ball off the net and really running our offense, and when we did that, we were able to hang in there with them. What was, what was UCLA oh. doing that was so um, hard for you guys to adjust to? I think definitely the service pressure. I mean, um, they have a bunch of guys that go back there and have they have the green light to just rip it away. So, um, I mean, besides everything else, I think the service pressure really put us out of system and they were able to get a three up on our outside hitters. But besides that, yeah, that's the thing that really stood out, um, the, the, the service pressure. Uh, let's talk about um, your uh, the t uh, teams that you've played so far this year. Uh, you guys played in the Hawaii tournament. You uh, came within a couple points of uh, beating in a really good Ball State team. Um, and you also played Hawaii. What was uh, your uh, met, um, impressions of those two teams and that trip to uh, to Hawaii? Yeah, it was great to come out there. It was our first time uh, going out there since 1998. And uh, against Ball State, I mean, on the third set, her, our starting set got hurt, and it was a game really got away from us. Nice play. Thank nice you very play. much. Really appreciate it. This is great. This is great. I like your V block. Thank, thank you very job. much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, it was it was a five set thriller. I mean, we lost, but uh, we really learned learned a lot from it. In the Hawaii match, uh, it's kind of similar. Their service pressure just they got on us, and we couldn't respond. And we're a young team. We have uh, four out of uh, four out of seven of the players were freshmen. So um, I think it was a great learning experience from us, and uh, we learned a valuable lesson that I think we can carry into EIV uh, season as we start our playing uh, George Mason and Penn State teams like that. Well, let's talk about EIV play. Uh, who? Do you guys start uh, you know, EIV play after uh, you return from this Cali swing? Um, who are the teams that you believe are going to be um, in competition with you to play the title? Yeah, I think um, in the IV, in terms of EIV, every every team is neck and neck with each other. I think um, George Mason they're going to be solid again. They're going to have a lot of returns. Penn State's always uh, they're always at the top of the EIV and uh, St. Francis and uh, and uh, uh, even Harvard's pretty good. So I think. Um, I think we have the, all the right tools to really uh, make a splash in EIV. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, we're a young team, like I said, and uh, we have a lot of room to improve, and I believe that these matches in the West Coast are really going to help us uh, reach that EIV playoffs and hopefully win the EIV championship. Let's talk about this old West Coast swing. Uh, this is the third time that you've done it. Uh, what do you look forward to when you come to California? Um, we really look forward to just being out here, you know, soaking up, soaking in the sun. It's uh, it's great weather. It's great in New Jersey. It's like 30, 20, 30 degrees out there. <laughs> but also the the style of play is very uh, it's it's uh it's very competitive, especially playing a team right number two in the number two ranked UCLA. So we kind of know we have nothing to lose because it's uh it's non conference play. So we kind of come come out here and just try to play the best volleyball, put the best uh, volleyball we can on the floor, and just hope to get a win. And um, I'm really, although we, we lost the game, I'm really proud of the effort my team put out here tonight. And we're looking forward to uh, uh, hopefully getting W's against Concordia and UCSD. And it's also fun to have uh, five players from California and all their f uh, family uh, come uh, and support you guys, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as you see that game, uh, the crowd got really into it when we, uh, like all those long rallies. So it was great having a lot of fans support us. And uh, I hope, I mean, hopefully they're going to be there and get Concordia and uh, UCSD because we can really use that, their energy. And last question, since uh, I'm uh, more familiar with the NPSF, uh, dare to compare uh, Hawaii versus uh, UCLA? Um, I think um, in terms of, uh, I mean, the, the service pressure, the both teams bring uh, bring a lot of pressure from the service line, and uh, I think um, you see, I mean, they're, they're, it's it's going to be neck and neck with them. I think uh, UCLA definitely they, they're better they're better blocking team, and um, they have a lot of guys that could go out go behind the service line and really hit the ball. So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a great game, definitely. But uh, one thing that really stood out for Hawaii uh, is their defense. I was really impressed by their uh, the way they played uh, their defensive tenacity, 
and especially at home, they really fed off the crowd. But I think it's going to be neck and neck with just these two teams. It's going to be a great one to watch. Well, thank you for taking time with us out to Block Blog, and uh, good luck uh, uh, in the EIVA. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it.